Start game now. Welcome, retro fans, to another edition of the No Swear Gamer. You know, Attic Commander likes to command just about any military vehicle, including tanks. That's why he brought with him today Tank Command for the Atari 7800, the rarest game released in the United States for the 7800 officially. And the label art, well, you got a brown tank and a little dude sticking his head out, and it looks like it's stuck in the snow. All right, let's go ahead and take Tank Command, pop into our 7800 Pro system, and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Tank Command was published by Frago and carries a copyright year of 1988. While the Frago games on the Atari 2600 were based on previously released games, Tank Command is an original title. It is an overhead action game for one player and only has one mode of difficulty. You are the commander of a tank division of seven tanks that is trying to defeat your unnamed enemy for once and for all. You control one tank at a time, traveling upward, trying to get to the flag at the end of each level. Now, if you're really in charge of your division, like the manual says, wouldn't you just send all your tanks at the same time? You control your tank with the joystick and fire your cannon with the right button, and you always fire the direction your tank is facing. The left button controls the energy or range of your shot. On the bottom of the screen is an energy meter. The longer it is, the farther your shot goes, and the shorter it is, the shorter your shot. And if you have a long shot selected, your shot will pass right over near targets, even if it seems that it's going to hit them. You have limited amounts of ammo and fuel, but you can pick up oil barrels to completely refuel or cannon shells to fill your ammo back up to 50. You face several enemies, including tanks, missiles that come from silos and fall from the sky, pillboxes, jeeps, and law infantrymen. Most enemies take one shot to blow up, but pillboxes take four. There are also huts that can be destroyed with two shots. You can also destroy the tanks and jeeps by ramming them, but it will cost you a life as well. However, running over the infantrymen will not harm you at all. The manual also talks about hidden tank traps that will trap you and you must back out of to get out of. So randomly, you might find your tank frozen in place. The manual may call these tank traps, but I call it bad programming. There are no continues in tank command or extra lives. Once your seven tanks are gone, your game is over, but if you manage to get to the end of level three, you will have won the game. Graphically speaking, you can tell what everything is, but the choice of colors just don't work very well and make the game look somewhat pastel or washed out. I suppose the sounds do their job, but they're not impressive and neither is the musical ditty that is played at the beginning of the game. Family friendly wise, there is no blood, but you can run over enemy soldiers. This is the most expensive, officially released Atari 7800 game on eBay. Only complete copies and new copies were sold recently, and the complete copies were going for $125, and a beat up new copy sold for $150. So what did I think of the ultra rare tank command? Well, it's not worth the price. And actually, this game seemed very similar to the other Frogo game, Water Ski, which I reviewed back in episode 84. Both games have weird color choices. Both games have three long levels with lots of obstacles that start you at the bottom, making you work your way up. And both games are extremely hard. As a matter of fact, I never got out of the first level of Tank Command. When a game gives you a lot of lives, it's usually because it is very difficult, and this is no exception. Stuff is going to get thrown at you all the time. I found the long range shots pretty useless since they passed over just about everything. So I stuck with close range shots, but even then I kept losing. So while I got a little enjoyment from blowing things up, for the most part, this game is a pass for me. So where am I going to rank Tank Command? Well, it's going to be pretty low. I did like it a little better than some games like Hattrick and Karateka. And it and Water Ski are very close, since they're basically almost the same game. But since I like blowing up stuff more than I like skiing, I'm going to give Tank Command a slight edge and make it my new number 19 game. Tank Command. 
This one is for serious collectors only. If you enjoy the Atari 7800, be sure to check out my podcast, the Atari 7800 Game by Game Podcast, which is available on iTunes, Stitcher, and right here on YouTube. And I covered this game along with Water Ski in episode 11. If you enjoyed this video, even if you don't like the game, would you please click the like and subscribe buttons? I would totally appreciate that. Thank you guys for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the No Swear Gamer. Take care, and watch out for attacks from everywhere.